Hi guys, this is uh, the book corner and uh, it is my day off so I am wearing my nightgown that I wear in a lot of my book review videos because when I have it off I do not put like outside clothes on. It's just my nightgown, I'm lazy, all that jazz. So um, I'm going to do a review of The Secret of the Old Mill which is the Hardy Boys issue number three. So I started this uh, book uh, yesterday, and the intention was I was only going to read about 10, there's like 20 chapters in this book. Um, I think the original had 25, if we're going by like uh, Nancy Drew, the original Nancy Drew from the 1920s. So this one has about 20 chapters, and my idea was, you know, I was just going to go and read like 10 chapters and finish it today and all that jazz. Well the story was so good that I just could not put this book down. So I did read like eight chapters or something like that. Um, and then um, I was doing my Lego thing, which I discovered there's a bunch of missing pieces from it, which is, which sucks. Um, my brother. <laughs> So um, I decided to I decided to finish decided to read it and I'll tell you something this this is probably one of my favorite Hardy Boys books. So this is about uh, a counterfeit ring and Frank and Joe Hardy are having to try to figure out say okay who's involved in it. And all that, and they're they're for they're uh they're creating phony twenty dollar bills, and for people that are going to ask, well, what about magnetic strips and all that? In the nineteen fifties and sixties, that did not exist, and police had to rely on what the treasury department sent them, on how can you tell the difference? You know, I at least I think that's what the, I think that's what uh how it worked but anyways um so frank and joe hardy has this friend called chet who is buying a microscope and one of the bills that chet gets uh you know he he goes and he uh takes his money out and then he goes to make change and he gets a phony 20. um yeah, so they have so that's how they end up uh, trying to investigate this counterfeit ring, and it happens inside of an old mill. I'm going, like I said, I'm gonna say this once again. This is one of my favorite uh, Hardy Boys uh, books. I really enjoyed uh, everything about it, uh, and I just, I mean, I was just glued to my seat with this story. Uh, and, you know, I hadn't, but prior to starting to buy the Hardy Boys, I never read the Hardy Boys at all. And I'm going to tell you something, I don't know why I never read the series. This is just so good, and I like the cover. And um, I bought this book probably about a year and a half ago, and I didn't get around to actually reading it, but I'm really glad that I finally did uh, get around to um, reading it. So I'm going to give this book uh, five stars. It is such a great book. And this book officially ends the six books that I showed you guys two weeks ago that I was starting. So yeah. So I do have, um, a, what was it? I do have The Missing Chums. So uh, that is actually a book that I will be reading um, next month. And next week, I'm actually ordering um, six and seven of the Hardy Boys. And that's something I'm going to be uh, purchasing every other month. So in uh, June, I'll get uh, two more Hardy Boys. So it's going to be it's going to be a long while before I collect them all. But uh, yeah, so I read like one Hardy Boys book a month. So yeah. All right. So that is it for um, this video. My next video, I will be showing you guys the first manga book that I will be reading. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys around. Bye.